So let's discuss more on the osmosis and osmotic pressure. This is really, really important to, to understand the concept of how the pure water is created from the like impure water. There are many phenomena which we observe in nature or at home. For example, raw mangoes, shrivel when pickled in brine, salt water, wilted flowers or review when placed in fresh water, blood cells collapse when suspended in saline water. So if you look into these processes, we find one thing common in all that is all these substances are bound by membranes. These membranes can be animal or vegetable origin and these occur naturally such as a pig's bladder or parchment or can be a synthetic such as cellophane. These membranes appear to be continuous sheets or films, yet they contain a network of submicroscopic holes or pores. Small solvent molecules like water can pass through the holes, but the passage of bigger molecules like solute is hindered. Membranes having this kind of properties are known as semi-permeable membranes. Assume that only solvent molecules can pass through this semi-mervimal membrane. If this membrane is placed between the solvent and solution as shown in the solvent molecules will flow through the membrane. This process of flow of the solvent is called as osmosis. The flow will continue till the equilibrium is attained. The flow of the solvent from its side to solution side across a semi-permeable membrane can be stopped if some extra pressure is applied on the solution. This pressure that just stops the flow of solvent is called osmotic pressure of the solution. So the flow of solvent from dilute solution to the concentrated solution across a semi-permeable membrane is called as osmosis. The important point to be kept in mind is that solvent molecules a lower concentration to higher concentration of solution always flow from. The osmotic pressure has been found to depend on the concentration of the solution. So the osmotic pressure of the solution is the excess pressure that must be applied to the solution to prevent osmosis. Therefore to stop the passage of solvent molecules through a semi-permeable membrane into the solution. So this is referred to as osmotic pressure. You are able to see the water moving. So. Here is the osmotic pressure which is a colligative property as it depends on the number of solid molecules and not on their identity. For dilute solution it has been found experimentally that osmotic pressure is proportional to the molarity C of the solution at a given temperature. Thus it can be pronounced as E is the osmotic pressure and R is the gas constant. So. It is equal to N2 divided by V into RT, where V is the volume of the solution in liters containing N2 molecule of solute. If W2 grams of solute of molar mass M2 is present in the solution, then N2 is equal to W2 by M2. This can be written as E into V is equal to W2 into RT divided by M2, where M2 is equal to W2 into RT divided by it can be written as pi V. So T is the temperature and R is the gas constant. This can be rewritten as E2, E, this one. So 
the measurement of osmotic pressure provides another method of determining molar mass of solutes. This method is widely used to determine the molar mass of proteins, polymers and other macromolecules. The osmotic pressure method has the advantage over other methods as pressure measurement is around the room temperature and the molarity of the solution is used instead of molality. As compared to other colligative properties, its magnitude is really large and even for very tiny solutions. The technique of osmotic pressure for determination of molar mass of solutes is particularly useful for biomolecules as they are generally not stable at higher temperatures and polymers will be having poor solubility. So the two solutions having same osmotic pressure at a given temperature are called as isotonic solution. When such solutions are separated by semi permeable membrane, no osmosis occurs between them. For example, the osmotic pressure associated with the fluid inside the blood cell is equivalent to that of 0.9% sodium chloride solution called normal saline solution and it is safe to inject intravenously. On the other end, if you place the cells in a solution containing more than 0.9% sodium chloride, water will flow out of the cells and they should shrink. Cell expands, cell shrink and this is normal. Such a solution is called a hypertonic. If the salt concentration is less than 0.9%, the solution is called a hypotonic. Water will flow into the cells if placed in the solution, they would swell. It will expand, the hypotonic. The phenomenon mentioned in the beginning of this section is, it's based on the basis of osmosis. A raw mango placed in the salt solution losses water via osmosis and shrivel into pickle. Wilted flowers are reviewed when placed in fresh water. A carrot that can become limp because of water loss into the atmosphere and be placed into the water marking it firm once again. So water will move into them through osmosis. When placed in water containing less than 0.9% salt, blood cell collapses due to the water by osmosis. People taking a lot of salt or salty food experience water retention in tissue cells and intercellular spaces because of osmosis. The resulting puffiness or swelling is called edema. Water movement from soil into plant roots and subsequently into upper portion of the plant is partly due to osmosis. The preservation of meat by salting and of fruits by adding sugar protects against the bacterial action. Through the process of osmosis, a bacterium of unsalted meat or candied fruit losses water, shrivels and dies. So here is a 3D of how the water is purified. Water with impurities, here is the semi permeable membrane, pure water and the impurities are going here. So the overall process is called a reverse osmosis. The direction of osmosis can be reversed if a pressure larger than the osmotic pressure applied to the solution side. That is, now the pure solvent flows out of the solution through the semi permeable membrane. From here it is coming in. The phenomenon is called reverse osmosis and is of great practical utility. Reverse osmosis is used in desalination of salt water.
The schematic setup of the process is shown here. When pressure more than osmotic pressure is applied, pure water is fused out of the sea water through the membrane. A variety of a polymer membrane are available for this process. A purpose. The pressure required for the reverse osmosis is quite high. A workable porous membrane is a film of a cellulose acetate placed over a suitable support. Cellulose acetate is a permeable to water but impermeable to impurities and ions present in sea water. This one. These days may countries, many countries use desalination plants to meet their potable water requirements. That's it. Thanks for watching a GTEC Techno Solution product on osmosis and reverse osmosis. Thank you from GTEC Company.